In this video, I'm going to take you through a tutorial of how my app works. Okay, so this is the home screen for my app. You have information, you have the banner at the top, you have login, sign up, rewards menu, menu, and settings. So first I'll show you how to sign up to the app. So I just click here and sign up. And here we have first name, last name, email address, password. So I actually have my details pre-entered, so this is my details. So you just put in your details and then you press sign up. So now I'm in the app. And what I can do as well is I can show you settings, log out, and then I can just go log in by pressing log in. And I'll just go with Facebook, for example. And then I can just log in with my details. So then this is me in the app then. So I'm going to walk you through the menu now. So I have selected burrito here on the menu. So if you want to find out about calorie information and fat and carbs, protein, you can see all the details here. So I made these bigger than I initially had them on my previous versions of the app because I figured out that this is important information. I feel it should be conveyed more bigger and because this is what people want to see. So then you can see I have this in taco, nachos, and the salad box too. So I'm happy with the burrito se selection, so I'm going to go to the next slide. So here I have, you choose your fillings. So I chose car carnitas, chicken, beans, and white rice. So if you want to see the information about the carnitas, you can see it says here, slow braised marinated pulled pork flavored with star anise, base spices, garlic and onions. So I made the calorie intake here. The writing is smaller because I don't think people are going to be too worried about calories here because they would, it would initially be the same with a lot of them. And I just think it wasn't as important as the description of the food. So I'm happy with my selection here. So I'm going to go to the next slide. So here's step three fillings again. So I chose cheese sour cream and lettuce and if I want I can just go here and I have jalapenos and mild salsa selected so I can see all the information about these so this is the roja sauce for example here's chipotle sauce and so on so I'm happy with this so I'm going to go to the next one so here I selected tortilla chips with cheese sauce as you can see, some of my descriptions are more detailed than others, while some aren't. For example, lettuce, I didn't have to make that very descriptive because most people know all about lettuce and cheese and things like that. For the tortilla chips and cheese sauce, I gave the calorie intake, fat, carbs and protein. A rough example of what this might be. So then you can see this on the other ones too. And so on. So I'm going to go to the next step. I'm on extras now. So I don't want any extra meat. I don't want any peppers. I decided to get some extra guacamole and you can see the intake here. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to go to the next step. So this is my review. So you can see the total review for the first part of the order here. Then the second part is here. Third part here. Um, so would you like to order anything else? I don't want to go back to the first step in the menu, which would happen if I click this. So I'm just going to proceed to the checkout for now. So here I have delivery or collection. So I'm just going to choose delivery. And then for the delivery time, I have entered 15 minutes. Notes to the chef, I just put in send two forks. This is optional, you don't have for this. So then you can rate this service. So I'm just going to give it five stars. And then I can just proceed to my payment. How would you like to pay? And you can see that it's personal. It knows your name. So this will put you on a first name basis with the brand as well. So I just want to pay by cash. So next you can see your order review here. So this is basically your digital receipt. So I'm just going to go and place my order now. Your order is on its way and if you want you can actually recommend this to a friend so here you have social media apps i'll just click one for example so i can go on and log into this and it'll give me the option to share the app with my friends or people on my feed so i don't want to do that right now so i'm just going to go cancel so that's my order placed so if you want one of the options i have is you can just click this banner at the top burrito loco and that'll loop you back to the home page and then you also have, you can click that as well throughout any stage of the app. So then I have the rewards menu here. 
So initially I had three of these lined up differently. Just like I got the inspiration from of this from the Buja map, but I decided to cut this down into just one box because it's neater and more effective. So here you can see four ticks. You get a tick every time you order the food. Then when you get ten ticks, you can click this and that'll make your next order be free, either on the app or go into store and buy it. And then I have the option here of getting a free burrito on the week of your birthday, just as a reward for customers. So then you can see in settings. So I already showed you the logout option. And then I have, so you put your name in here, the app gets to know who you are. The delivery address goes in here. So I have this already entered, so I can just order off this and it'll know exactly where to go. And I have customization colors. So if you want, you can just make this app blue or gray, white, whatever color you want, if you're not happy with the background. so. I think I'm really happy with the yellow background, so I'm just going to keep it like that for now. I think it fits, fits the brand value. And then you also have these options here. So you have FAQs, private policy, terms and conditions, and tracking policy. So these were very long. I was going to have overlays on the screens, but I just decided to drop them in as links instead because, as you can see, there's a lot of information here. So then you can just click back to go back. So then you can just, if you're done, log out. And I think that's more or less it for my app, so I hope you enjoyed it.